Many faculty are planning on using Zoom in the upcoming weeks to hold synchronous course sessions. These synchronous Zoom meetings may replace your regularly scheduled classes. If your professor sets up a Zoom meeting in one of your courses, you will be notified via the inbox in My Classes, where you will receive a course invitation that tells you the name of the course that it came from, the topic of the session, who created it, what time the session will start, how often the session will be held. In this case, I have 12 occurrences for weekly class meetings on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And at the bottom of the invitation will be a URL that you can click on to join the Zoom session. You will always receive a notification in your inbox. However, if you have your notification preferences set up to receive notifications about conversations, uh, conversations is what my classes refers to for these inbox messages. If you have these checked to receive notifications, you will also get this message forwarded to your gals.salisbury.edu email in Outlook. The green check mark means that you will receive the email immediately. The clock icon indicates that you will receive notifications daily. The calendar icon indicates that you will receive weekly summaries. And the X means that you will not receive any notifications whatsoever to your gals.salisbury.edu email address. To ensure that you are receiving up-to-date information, best practice is to keep the check mark for the instant notification push or the clock for the daily notification push. When you go to your dashboard and enter your course, you will see a course menu item for Zoom. When you click on Zoom, you will see a list of all of the meetings that are scheduled for this class. You can view the invitation at any time, and you can click join when you are ready to enter the conference. The Previous Meetings tab will indicate any meetings that have previously taken place. So for example, tomorrow I have a meeting at 10 a.m. After this session expires, it will move to my Previous Meetings tab. If my professor records that session and shares the recording of the class with me, if I click on Cloud Recordings, I will be able to watch a video playback of that session. Or I can just listen to the audio playback if I want to listen to it podcast style. When you join a Zoom meeting, you will have to have the Zoom software to launch the meeting. If you are using Zoom for the first time on a computer or laptop and you launch the meeting, you may be prompted to download and install software. If you are using a mobile device, you can download and install the Zoom app. If you already have Zoom installed, you will be prompted to launch Zoom to enter the meeting. Your professor may have started a Zoom session meeting to automatically launch your webcam. Many professors may require that you join with video so that they can see you taking part in the course. You may then enable your audio so that you can participate in course conversations. For this tutorial, I will stop recording the video. You have the option to start and stop your video at any time, but be aware that your professor may have policies about sharing your video to count for attendance. You may also mute and unmute your microphone at any time. Your professor may automatically mute you upon entry in order to keep the volume to a minimum while the lecture is going on, but you can always click to unmute at any time to participate in conversation. You may notice a recording symbol in the top left of the Zoom meeting if the session is being recorded. If you had a classmate that couldn't find their invitation, although they should be able to find it in my classes, you could copy the URL or the entire Zoom meeting information to send to someone to join the meeting. Everyone in the course will be able to click on participants to see who has joined. If you have a question for your professor, you can click the raise hand button from the bottom menu of the participants screen and a blue raised hand icon will indicate that you have a question or would like to add a comment. You can lower your hand if you no longer need the attention of your professor. Next to your name, you can click to mute or unmute and you can also unmute yourself and remute yourself from the bottom of the participant screen. You can also participate in a group chat where you can send a response to everyone or specific people in this meeting. You can also add clapping or thumbs up reactions if you would like to provide feedback to what's being said. And you can also share your screen. If your professor wants you to lead a presentation, you can click the share screen option and you will be provided with a list of items that you can share based on the applications that you have open on your computer. So for example, if you had a PowerPoint available, you could share your PowerPoint to everyone else in the course to lead your presentation. You can also enable a whiteboard where you can draw, write, stamp, highlight, and contribute text to. 
You can save this if it's part of a collaborative piece and you can clear it if you would like to start over. When you are done presenting, you can stop share and you will return to the Zoom meeting. When class has ended, your professor may close it out for everyone, in which case you will automatically be kicked out. But you can also click leave meeting and return to the course at any time. You will find that recording under cloud recordings. If you want to know more about Zoom, you can click on the get training materials offered by the Zoom company, or if you go to the SU website, click on tech support help desk, and go to search the knowledge base. You can search for articles related to Zoom to find more Salisbury University specific related information. The Zoom meetings that are provided in my classes have been created by your professor for course related content, but all students have access to salisbury.zoom.us where you can sign in with your SU credentials, and you can always set up your own Zoom meetings from your salisbury.zoom.us profile. You can schedule these meetings to have study sessions with classmates or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with your professor where you would like to send them the Zoom invite to join your meeting. Again, if you have any further questions about starting your own Zoom meetings, you can go to the IT Help Desk, search the Knowledge Base, and review the Getting Started with Zoom article. Thank you for watching this video tip. Good luck and stay safe.